say we have our fusion composition here and if i play it back it runs not the smoothest we have what about four frames per second in a 24 second frame composition all right now it's, it's better but i think we can optimize this more so how would we know what nodes to optimize that is where the script from reactor called its tool time comes in and if you don't know reactor come on made a video about it a bunch of times you know how to install it in this video right here but if we go up to workspace go down to scripts go over to reactor over here go down to open reactor we can open it up it's going to take a little bit it needs to update all this stuff and that opens that up and then we can go here it's the search bar and search it it's tool time should pop up hopefully there we go and then we can just click that check mark to install it i already have it installed because i did a bunch of stuff but now if we hit control shift space get run the select action button which includes your tools and your scripts so if we go and type it's tool time no space and then hit the first one down and then you can see this panel pops up and so what is this panel this panel is basically dissecting the whole composition and rendering out this last frame that's here to see what nodes take the longest to render and it has this all this information right here and you can see the so-called problem nodes that are here which takes the most to render so all these are the nodes that are inside this composition and if you're using macros they'll be inside the macro as well so you may not know which macros go to which node but you can maybe figure it out if you start clicking around so let's go and click all right this is the frame average node we have here is the one that's taken up the most time so if we click it and it should show up in our composition now it should be over here yep it's highlighted and so that is what's taken up the most render time so if i go and disable that and then let's say we, let's, let's run the script again it's tool time you can see now it's not having a problem well i literally just disabled the node but that makes sense but you can see what is causing the most problems and yeah it's just nice if you want to troubleshoot your your nodes that are here so let's go to this next one hard mix this is a custom tool id and this one's i know this one's in the this node right here which is just blend modes from a custom tool so i just need to skip that because that's actually crucial for this effect and if we go to the q map which is my renamed gradient map you can see it also has problem rendering a little bit and you can see that for me i think it's a necessary evil to have this gradient map because it's the only way you can get this color in this black and white composition and so i think that'll stay if you are in the studio version though if you use the false color node and you go to custom let me just show it off right here false color you show it off and instead of going to the plugin mode go to creative and then if, let's let's plug in this media into the false color and view it see we have basically a gradient map here with a certain amount of colors that we could set let's go down to like two and so this will be our black layer and this will be our white layer and then if we up it again to three then it like moves up and then this will be our white layer and then this one will be like our 50 percent gray yeah that's just a nice way maybe it will render faster but how do we know we could check with it's tool time let's see it's tool time run it again let's see is our false color there it is there a little bit it runs a tiny bit faster than the fast noise that has our gradient map but faster nonetheless but yeah that's all i wanted to show off this script basically how it's done and used because i use it all the time just to optimize your fusion compositions just a little bit more if you're having trouble rendering and yeah